Hello, this is Deborah, and as you can see from the title, I'm going to be making some lavender cold processed soap. Now, I have some micas here that I'm going to use today uh, from Mad Mica. This one is Twilight. These are some really gorgeous colors. Now, I really, I really wanted to make this really bright and colorful today. I'm also going to be using some Key West Blue. These are gorgeous colors from Mad Michaels. I'm going to be using some Paw Paw Purple, one of my favorite colors. And last, let's see. Okay, I'm also going to be using some bright yellow raincoat. I hope you can see that. Bright yellow raincoat. <laughs> okay, last but not least, I'm going to be using some the Matica P. I hope I'm saying that right. So those are the micros that I'm going to be using uh, in this soap. I'm also going to be using some uh, lavender essential oil. I have some candied clay here. I have some titanium dioxide. And I also have some coconut milk. Uh, the method I'm using today is called the heat transfer method. And what that means, you don't have to have your butter, butters and oils and lye solution at the same temperature. So I'm going to go ahead and pour my lye solution over into my oils and butters. It doesn't take very long, four to six minutes, and it should melt it with no problem. I hope everybody's having a good day today. Um, as you can see from the title, uh, we'll just I'll just let you watch it. <laughs> And you can see for yourself. But we're starting off pretty good here. Basically, uh, just melting the oils and butters and getting it all ready here. Okay, so it melted pretty fast. It's a little dark, but the colors will change. This is the, pretty much the olive oil that's in the soap. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, start emerging it just a little bit there so I can bring it to trace. I'm going to be doing a light trace today. Now I've went ahead and added my kaolin clay over into my oils and butters here. And I'm just kind of mixing that up a little bit there. I don't want to give it too much emerge. <laughs> I don't want to do it too much because I don't want it to get too thick. I want to leave it at a really light trace. Okay, I added my coconut milk. And, um, and here we go. Like I said, I just want to give it a light trace here. So I'm not really got the merger on the whole time. Just using it to stir a little bit. Take that off for safety precautions there. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this up because I'm going to add the color to the different um, soap batches here. Okay. Okay, so uh, what I'm doing right now, I'm going to go ahead and add some lavender essential oil over into my yellow here. And I'm sorry I'm a little bit out of the camera there. <laughs> oh boy. And I'm going to add some to the green. 
smells really good now this is not my normal company that I purchased my essential oils from but I was kind of in a hurry uh, kind of a last minute order there so um, starting to have some troubles here <laughs> okay I noticed the yellow it looks a little bit like it's trying to rise up on me and so does the lavender I'm not going to add it into the blue at this point because I can see where the others are not doing that well so I don't want to add any over into this blue here just to make sure I'm gonna try to uh, clean this stick merger up and give it another go and see if I can whip this uh, lavender and into submission here although it's just really rising up now my yellow <laughs> is pretty riced up I'm not sure why I got out of the camera I'm really sorry about that but uh, I'm the green is just really gone I put the uh, lavender essential oil in the green. This is the first time I've ever had any trouble with uh, uh, lavender essential oil. So I'm just kind of speeding up the video here because um, I'm thinking things are just really going south. Uh, I'm not going to be able to pour this yellow or the green. They're just rising up pretty bad. And so is my purple. So I've got a hot mess here. And I, now off camera I did whip those. Now my blue is fine because I didn't put anything in there. Um, so I'm kind of getting a little nervous about it. I tried and tried. I actually used a merger and nothing's working here. So this is a total flop here. Uh, that essential oil just, it did not work. It said it was fine for cold processed soap, but apparently something went wrong. <laughs> not quite sure what. But uh, it's rising and season up pretty bad. And uh, there's no way. Now, I'm just mixing it together. I don't know why I'm doing this. It just seems like, well, let's see if we can get it all to work together that way. <laughs> but we've got a hot mess there. So uh, I'm now I'm using Happy for Women's. Uh, this is a beautiful fragrance oil. It, it smells just like the real thing. Happy by Clinique, I believe it is. So I'm going to use that uh, over into my blue. And uh, I've gone from plan A, I'm now into plan B. Hoping that I can pull this off. I'm no longer using the lavender <laughs> fragrance oil at that point as you can see. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. Because plan B means I'm having to rethink this whole thing over. It's no longer going to be a lavender soap. So now we're going to have a happy soap. <laughs> so we shall see how this works. Now I have some little um, devices that I'm going to use to uh, put in the soap to see how that works. Oh, this is going to have to sit up just a little bit there. I am moving pretty fast. Now I just kind of tested to see if it was firm enough and it is firm so I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get some type of design out of this now I have I have you to know I have not uh, did anything with the purple and the colors I've lost those that part of the soap um, it's a little too late to go and try to make up another batch at this point so I'm just gonna use what I have and try to be creative here as much as possible So I'm just trying to get some designs here. I don't know what this is going to look like. I've never used these little devices before. But we shall see how they work. <laughs> okay, I've added just a little bit of the beautiful. I mean the happy here. I'm saying beautiful. The happy uh, fragrance oil over into the blue. Now I don't have much of the... Uh, soap base left because three of them went bad <laughs> so I'm working with what I have here and I'm thinking in my head you know what is this going to look like because these templates like I said I've never used these templates before but I'm hoping that I can pull it off and get some type of design 
using this happy fragrance oil. That is one of my, I love that fragrance. <laughs> so I'm having to think it out here. Um, trying to move fast enough where things don't harden up on me just in case. So I've been working with this for a few minutes here. Just trying to think <laughs> how I'm going to pull it off. Now, I have some blue here on the bottom, and I have this template here, this soap template here that I'm using uh, to see if I can get, I guess it's going to be like a cloud. This is kind of going to be a cloud here. Now, I have this blue on the bottom, and then I have one with white on the bottom, so I'm probably going to just end up taking the one out of the other mold and use uh, the soap uh, base in this mold because um, I just don't have enough. So anyway, don't make too big a mess here. So now I am pouring over some of the white soap here, soap base that I've made. This is a cold process soap base here. And uh, I'm gonna let it harden up a little bit and I'm gonna see if I can get a nice design with this top scraper here. Yeah. So, I don't know. We both going to get to see what it looks like because I really have no idea how this is going to turn out. Because, like I said, I've gone from plan A to plan B, and this really wasn't thought out that great, you know, because I had it all figured out how I was going to make, you know, the first one, the lavender. So, I just kicked in and tried to make something and save the soap because I didn't really want to lose the soap. Now, I, I really wanted those colors. I really wanted some colors because right now all I have is a dark blue, a light blue, and a white. I don't no longer have purple, green, or yellow. So I'm going to try to do something different there. So now I'm going over the, the top piece of the cloud. I believe that's what this is, the top piece of it, uh, to get a design. And like I said, I've never used these templates before, so we shall see how they turn out. I'm not sure if I should have turned around to do it this way, but I'm going to try it anyway. <laughs> so we both get to see what this looks like in a little bit here. So far, so good. I'm hoping. I'm hoping there's going to be a design <laughs> underneath this. You know, I'm still having fun even though my plan A fell through. <laughs> it didn't work because of the fragrance oil. Well, actually the essential oil, the lavender essential oil. That's not a company that I normally order from. And it did say that it works with cold processed soap. But boy, I've never had that problem with lavender essential oil before first time for everything <laughs> and you do have to you know be creative if something don't work you just you know kick into something else and that's pretty much what i was going to do you know if i had this problem i was going to find something because i'm just not going to waste <laughs> all of this soap batter here you know all those oils and butters are very expensive so i'm just gonna see what happens here but i'm going to try to be as creative as possible here <laughs> oh my goodness okay so now I'm going to uh, separate uh, this blue and white that I've mixed together and I'm really thinking you know what am I going to do with this I'm, I'm wanting to add some color but as you can see it's already blue and light blue and white so I'm not going to be able to do too much I am going to put this little bit that I have here over into the uh, mow here because I really want to try to fill it up to the top if possible with what I have left. So it's very interesting to see how this is going to turn out. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm not upset about it at all. It's like whatever, just having fun. I'm just not going to lose my soap. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking here. And I'm thinking, I really want to put some color into this blue, but I can't stir it up because it's going to get all 
I'll mud it up. So I have these colors. So I'm thinking in my head, what am I thinking here? <laughs> I'm just going to add them a little bit um, in the spoon here. Put a little olive oil with it. Well, let's just see how this turns out here. I've got this little crazy idea because I know that I cannot add these colors into the blue because it's going to just, it's just going to have distorted colors. It's, they're not going to come out very well. <laughs> so what I'm doing here now is I'm just going to add a little bit of olive oil into the, the uh, mica here. And hopefully I don't make too big a mess here. <laughs> and I'm going to attempt to kind of do just a little bit like in the pot swirl. Just a little bit. Because I don't want it to get all clouded up, mudded up. Because that's what's going to happen. And I don't know how this is going to turn out. So I'm just adding the color. Because I really wanted those colors to be in the soap. Not just the blue and the white. I wanted the purple and the yellow and the green. So I'm just kind of putting it there hopefully I can spread it out evenly without uh, disrupting the uh, designs that I've done underneath there hopefully I won't shake them all loose now I've added all the colors there just kind of sprinkling them on and uh, I'm going to do like a little bit of design um, <coughs> on top there but as you can see the cloud is is on the bottom so this is actually going to turn out to be the bottom of the soap so I'm probably didn't even have to do this design because but then again I did want those colors and I'm not sure how much of those colors are going to come out we shall see we shall see how this turns out so I will be back in 24 hours there you have it 24 hours to show you what this looks like Okay, I'm back. Uh, as you can see, it looks like it might have come out okay. I don't know yet. Now, I did let this soap sit in the oven. I cut the oven on to 170, and once it heated up, I cut it off. And I did add this, uh, uh, put the soap in the oven with the soap with the oven off to get more of a nice gel face. So we shall see how this. That piece don't look too bad. <laughs> looks pretty good so far so far so good oh my goodness let's just keep going here <laughs> oh boy okay I'm loving that I'm loving it oh my goodness it's gorgeous it's beautiful I see my colors it almost looks like the cloud and then it looks like the lavender feel with some yellow. I don't know, this is just gorgeous. I'm loving it. It's a little bit wet because when I took it out of the oven, it still felt a little soft, so I stuck it in the freezer. And that probably wasn't the thing to do, but I think once it dries, it's gonna be beautiful. Uh, the bottom is actually the top. As you can see, the cloud is pretty blue there. <laughs> my goodness I'm really I'm, I'm really shocked that it came out this good I had never used those templates before and I'm just really happy that I did oh my goodness I love this I'm gonna call that the lavender feel with the grass and the sunshine shining through oh I don't see any sunshine but I'm just making it up as I go but that's what it looks like to me it looks like a lavender feel with lavender flowers and the grass oh my goodness I'm excited I'm really shocked that this soap came out this good. Oh my goodness. Like I said, once it dries, it's going to be a lot firmer. And, and then I can shape it and it should be really good. It smells wonderful. Happy smells so good. I used to wear Happy all the time by Clinique. And this smells so similar to it. Oh my goodness, that's really pretty. I was wanting the yellow and the purple and the green. And there it is. The cloud's pretty big, but 
<laughs> it's okay. Oh my goodness, it's not a cloudy day. It's a bright, white, puffy cloud. So this turned out much better <laughs> than I had started from plan A. Because plan A, I was just going to swirl some colors into the soap. And that was, I was just going to swirl those, all those colors into it. But wow. This is, I'm, I'm really happy. I think I just got blessed here because I really was struggling with plan A and, you know, and with the rice and, and everything turned out so bad. And, oh, look at the results. This is so beautiful to me. I don't know what it looks like to you, but I'm loving it. I'm really impressed. Well, there you have it. Everything came out just fine. Thank you so much for watching this video. If this is something that you enjoy, I hope that you will hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and I hope to see you next time around. Thank you. Bye-bye now.